In this video, we are going to solve a few word problems related to fractions. And here comes the first one. Three-fifths of a class of students joined the band club. Later, another one-third of the same class joined the band club. Overall, what fraction of the class joined the band club? So you have three-fifths of a class joining the club, the band club. And then later, one-third of the same class joining the band club. So overall, the fraction of the class that joined the club would obviously be three-fifths plus one-thirds. You know what to do next. Change these two numbers to their LCM or least common multiple. Or in other words, find the LCD or the least common denominator of the two given fractions. In this case, the LCM of 5 and 3 is 15. So your job is to change 5 to 15 times this with 3. And if you do that, in order to make sure that you're not changing the fraction, you need to do the same on the top. And then multiply 3 with 5 to get a 15. Multiply the 1 on the top with 5 as well. So we have this as 3 times 3 is 9 over 15 plus this one's 5 over 15. So you have 9 plus 5 all over 15. That's 14 over 15. So 14 over 15 or 14 15th of the class joined the band club. And here comes the next one. David filled a bucket with 8 and a half gallons of water. His brother Sam used up some of the water and David found that five and three-fourths gallons of water were left in the bucket. And the question is, how much water did Sam use up? So there's a bucket and David filled this up with eight and a half gallons of water. So let's say this is what David filled this up with, eight and a half. Now his brother came over, Sam, and he used up some of the water and then David found that five and three-fourths gallons were left. So this is what he started with. Sometime later he figured out that oh okay so it has reduced to five and three-fourths gallons. The question is how much is this? This is the portion that Sam used up right? And to find that out you could well imagine that we need to do a subtraction eight and a half minus five and three-fourths. This would give you the answer in gallons. So let's do it. These are mixed numbers. So you can subtract 8 minus 5. You get a 3. And now when you try to do 1 half minus 3 fourths, there's a problem because 3 fourths is larger than 1 half. Remember borrowing? So the 3 changes to a 2 and the 1 goes over here. You rewrite the 1, because there's a 2 on the denominator, you rewrite the 1 as 2 over 2. Add it to the half. So this becomes 2 plus 2 plus 1 all over 2, adding these two up, minus 3 fourths. So this is 2 plus 3 seconds minus 3 fourths. And 3 seconds is an improper fraction, which means this is more than 1. And 3 fourths is a proper fraction, which means this is less than 1. So now you can go ahead and do the subtraction. But before you do that, you need to change these two to the same number. The LCM of 2 and 4 is 4. So you want to multiply 2 with 2 and do the same with this 3 on the top. Rest is a piece of cake. You have a 2 plus 6 over 4 minus 3 over 4. So that's equal to 2 plus 6 minus 3 over 4. So that's 2 plus 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 over 4, which is 2 holes and 3 fourths of a gallon. 
So this portion out here, the portion that Sam used up, is two and three fourths gallons. And indeed, you're right. Here comes the next one. Simon bought one and three eighths pounds of grapes. This isn't thirteen over eight. Remember, thirteen over eight is an improper fraction. And when you change it to a mixed number, you divide 13 with 8, you get 1 whole, and the remainder is 5, so you have 1 and 5 eighths. This is 1 and 3 eighths, so they are not the same. So once again, Simon bought 1 and 3 eighths, like this, pounds of grapes. If one-fifth of the grapes were sour, meaning one-fifth of what he has bought is sour. How many pounds of Simon's grapes were sour? Now let's try and understand the problem. Let's say this is all of Simon's grapes, right? So this rectangle from here to here represents one and three-eighths pounds. And they said that one-fifth of this is sour. That means if you divide this into five equal parts, I'm going to try and do it. Not sure if I can get them all equal. Okay, more or less. So this portion is sour. And they want you to find out how many pounds is this. How many pounds of Simon's grapes were sour. So this is a classic case of multiplication. Remember, off means multiplication. So basically, you want to find out what's one-fifth of one and three-eighths pounds. This is the question you're trying to answer. Now, like I said before, the word off translates to multiplication in math. So this is going to be one-fifth times one and three-eighths. To do this multiplication, you need to turn this mixed number to an improper fraction. So this becomes equal to one-fifth times 8 times 1 is 8 plus 3 is 11 over 8. So you have, there's no question of cross-reducing. 11 is a prime number. Its factors are 1 and 11. And if you divide 11 with 11, you don't have a denominator to be divided with 11. So let's forget cross-reducing. This is 1 times 11 over 5 times 8, which gives us 11 over 40 pounds. So out of these 1 and 3 eighths pounds that he got, 11 over 40 pounds is sour. Does that make any sort of sense? Okay, let's move over to another one. Tony drinks 5 eighths of a gallon of water every day. He has stored 2.5 gallons of water at home. How long will his stock last? So here's a container that Tony has and he has stored 2.5 gallons of water in this. 2.5 gallons. Now he's drinking 5 eighths of a gallon each day. So let's say this is one day. And he is drinking 5 eighths of a gallon. And the question is, how many days is his stock of water going to last? So you know what to do. Divide the whole with 5 eighths. 2 and a half gallons divided with 5 eighths gallons will give you the number of days the water is going to last. To divide, you need to change this mixed number to an improper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 5 seconds divided by 5 eighths, which is equal to 5 over 2, or 5 seconds. Turn the division to a multiplication. Flip over the divisor, the numerator and the denominator. So you have 8 on the top, 5 on the bottom, and then Time for us to cross cancel. 5 and 5 will go off. They cancel each other. You have a 1 here, you have a 1 here. Divide 2 with 2 and 8 with 2. So you have a 1 here, you have a 4 here. 
So this is 1 times 4 over 1 times 1, which indeed is as easy as drinking a glass of water like Tani. So this is 4 days. So I have made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I should have done one less. I never knew the answer before. So his talk is going to last for 4 days. And that's it for now. I'll see you in another video.